channel so today I'm going to be doing this makeup look for you inspired by this photo right here um, it's not exactly the same it's just like an inspired look from this photo because one of you sent this to me and I really liked the look and I also originally saw it in grey like obviously this is Kylie Jenner with grey hair obviously she never had grey well she made well wig that was grey this is actually just like a photo edit that I didn't do but it was on Instagram so this was the original in blonde and then this was it in grey so I'm also going to show you as well as how to do the makeup but also how you can edit your photos to make your hair look like this so it makes mine look like this so if you want to see how to get this full makeup look and also how to turn your hair grey in a picture then just keep watching. If you have no interest in seeing how I did the actual makeup look but you just want to know how to make your hair grey then skip to this time and that will show you how to do it and skip all this makeup. All the good stuff. Hey all you fellow makeup lovers out there! So starting off we just need to get this hair out the face and I'm going in with primer. This is the Illamasqua Hydravel. First time using it, felt really weird but kind of nice. Then we're going to erase these dark circles with the NYX Dark Circle Eraser in the shade Medium on a Real Techniques concealer brush I think this is. And then we are going to go in with foundation. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have two shades, you totally don't need to use two shades, but one's too dark and one's too light. So mix them together and you've got the perfect combination. I am using number shade, number shade, shade number nine and shade number 6.5. So 6.5 is the lighter one, nine is the darker one. Mix them together, I just mix them together like on my face. I just put the dark around the edge and the light in the center. And I use my Redial airbrush foundation brush to blend that all in to my face. I'm loving this brush, I've used it loads, I really like it a lot. <laughs> um, once we've applied the foundation we are going to be leaving the face and moving on to the eyes and eyebrows because we are going to be using tape later. So for the eyebrows I'm using the Redial Glamour Brow, this is in the shade Ash Brown. Oh my god, this pencil is so good. If you're looking for a new eyebrow pencil, this is honestly the nicest one I've ever used. It's so easy to apply, really nice shades, and it's just freaking bomb. Like, I really, really like it. So, by the power of editing, we are done with both eyebrows. Moving on to the eyes, I am going to apply tape to make sure we get that really nice crisp winged line. Do make sure to reduce the tackiness of your tape on your hands so you don't damage the delicate eye skin area. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, you're just going to apply the tape in a wing shape but I am going slightly lower on the low, you know like on the lower lash line. Um, and then we are going in with this Givenchy eye base. This is in Rose Dentelli. It's like a like mauvey dusty rose matte shade. Don't really know how to explain it but it just kind of makes the whole eye look just a little bit cooler. And then I am going in with my Sigma E40 and I'm taking the Anastasia shade in Fawn and I'm just running that through my crease and like basically just kind of all over my eyelid. I'm then taking the shade Coco Bear by Makeup Geek on my MAC 217. I'm just applying this to the outer half of my eye but you can see in kind of like a triangle shape almost like how you would do eyeliner but obviously it's shadow so you're just blending it out but keeping it in that area and also on that lower lash line as well well so the tape is obviously going to mean that no shadow is going to go past that tape so once we reveal it once we take the tape off it will be a sharp line keep blending in between each stage so it is all nicely blended and then going in with this shade it's just like a dark brown shade on this sigma flat definer brush and um, any dark brown matte shade would be fine but I only had like a single shadow which was a bit annoying like on its own this is just like a really cheap one from Tesco's but I'm just using that to just go in again in that same triangle shape and then I'm going in with a brown eyeliner this is a Jordana 12 hour liner it's just like a pretty dark brown you want a really flat in tone like flat dark brown um, and then I'm going back into that same brush that we used in the previous shadow to smudge out the liner. This is a very smudgy look. You don't want the liner to be too defined, but you still want to have that eyeliner shape, but just smudged out, if that makes sense. All will be revealed. Once you take the tape off, you'll see what I'm talking about. But you just want to use this liner. Any dark brown eyeliner would do. I was going to use my trusty whiskey liner, but it just wasn't quite dark enough. You do want it to be like a dark brown. But ideally not black, although you could do this look with black. I just think it looks nice with brown. Um, 
So just doing the exact same thing on the other side and just making sure you're smudging it out and then also go back in with your Cocoa Bear shade just to make sure it's all diffused and it is darker there but it's still blended, you know, like yeah. Revealing now, just taking the tape off and you can see it gives you that perfect crisp line. Just blend away any marks that the tape has made. Um, but you can see the line is super super crisp and defined. I also use this duo fiber brush just to like brush the edges a bit so it's not like too winged out too far. Mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara as always. And then lashes, I'm kind of over the really dramatic lashes at the moment. So I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies. I love these lashes. They're like really natural but still full. I don't know. I just really, really like them. And I'm just kind of over that massive lash at the moment. Um, anyway, I'm going in with Back to the Face Now Concealer. I'm using the Tarte. This is the Amazonian Clay Concealer in Light. Um, this concealer is so creamy. I always forget I have it and then when I use it, I'm like, yes, I love this concealer. It's so good. It's so easy to blend out and it's super creamy. You don't need much. That's why I've done like the triangle but missed out the center of the triangle because you just really don't need it. Once you blend it up, like that's perfect and it makes your under eye not be too cakey with too much concealer because we don't want to be cakey under there now, do we? So I'm just blending all that out using my damp beauty blender and my finger to blend out my nose and then we're going to be setting it with the Redial setting powder this is the banana shade one on my elf tapered brush um, this powder is really good I'm is quite new but I'm really liking it I've only used it a couple of times but so far I love it and then also for contour I'm using a Redial contour powder these are all like I think they're called insta glam or something mm, I'm not sure um, I'll leave it all down below but this contour powder is bomb it's so good it's really cool toned so it's perfect for getting that contour on the cheekbones and the jawline but you don't want to take it in too far like literally just like this like not even past my eye you know like just this outer part because you don't want to start bringing gray tones into your face i'm doing really dramatic hand actions while i'm talking to you right now <laughs> um but yeah just keep that bit on the outer half of your face I also take a smaller Sigma brush, no this is a Morphe brush, just to contour my nose a bit as well. And then I go back into the same brush I used to set underneath my eyes to just blend out those lines because we don't want any crazy harsh lines like on our nose because that would look really weird. Then I'm going to be bronzing up the face with my Rimmel Matte Bronzer. Um, on my Benefit contour brush and this is just really just to warm up the face because that contour powder a second ago is obviously cooling that is more for actual contouring and shadowing whereas this one's actually more like a bronzer so it's going to warm up the face she always tends to be quite bronzy and warm then for highlighter I can remember what it's called then first of all I'm taking this this is actually an eyeshadow like an eyeshadow base by Pur, I want to say Pur, but I think it's Pure, Pure, I don't know how you say this brand, but this stuff is amazing, I used it as highlights the other day, it's meant to be an eyeshadow as I said, but it's freaking bomb for highlight, like underneath your actual highlight, which I'm using Mary Luminizer by The Balm on my Sigma Tapered Brush. Hello, see the glow. And then, um, oh, put that down the nose. For blush, guys i'm wearing blush like can we just i never wear blush but if i have to wear blush this is my favorite blush it's milani luminoso it's such a nice color it is the best blush ever like honestly it's so good moving back into the lower lash line i'm basically just taking the same colors we used on top and just smudging them underneath my eye but making sure not to bring it right into that inner corner just keep it to the outer third and the center but not right into the inner corner Mascara to make sure the lashes blend and then finally moving on to lips. I'm using the Kylie um, Lip liner in Dolce K. I was just going to use Dolce K lip kit But I know so many of you wanted this but you don't have it So I didn't want to actually use it and I forgot after I'd used the liner. So I'm going in with Colourpop Beeper First of all one of my favorite favorite liquid lipsticks but I wanted it to be a tiny bit more beigey, so I went in with the NYX Lip Suede Cream thing in Sandstorm. And then once you've done that, that is the finished makeup look. Okay, so now for the fun bit, I'm going to show you how a really, really quick and easy way to turn your hair like grey or white 
for a photo so not obviously in real life this is for a photo so I'm just gonna move this way so you can see what I'm doing here on my phone let's just open it first of all <laughs> Um, right, so I've just taken some selfies. But first of all, I'm going to show you on the Kylie Jenner one. I didn't do the Kylie Jenner one. I did just see it like this. But I'm going to show you how I think they did it. So you want to go into trusty old Facetune. And then open, obviously, the photo. I think I put it in my favourites. Look how many selfies, like, for real. Uh, I think I put it in here. Mm, yeah, there it is. So many selfies, right? You know. Okay, so this is the original picture that was on, obviously, her Instagram originally. Then someone edited it, edited it to make it grey. So I'm going to show you, like, how easy that is to do. Right, so you want to go, see down at the bottom here, these, these um, options. So you want to go to whiten. And you literally want to rub your finger. Like, if you can see, I'm just rubbing my finger over the hair. And it is just going to like whiten it basically this does only work on blonde hair unfortunately like with mine if i do mine which i'll show you in a second it looks like an ombre because obviously my roots are dark so it doesn't quite catch them so you just want to run your finger over the whole hair don't sort of if you go over the face like you can see i'm going over the face here don't worry because we'll just erase it i find it easier to just go over the whole thing and then zoom in and go in with a raise so I'll just zoom in now and just erase those bits. Obviously, we don't want her face to be white. So just erase around the edges. You can see there's some here. So just erase that. Background doesn't really matter because like the t-shirt's white anyway. But I'm only doing this side obviously quickly just to show you. Oh, her hand is super white. <laughs> Whoops. Um, right, I would do this one a second time, so click save and then go back into the white and then just go over it again. Because you can see like down this bottom bit where her hair is darker, it's obviously not picking up as much because her hair is darker. So the white only whitens stuff that's kind of off white. So I also do this if I have like, if I take a photo, you know, if you take a photo against like a white wall, it never comes out like white, white. So I use this for that as well. A lot of you asked that question. Let's just zoom in over here. So you can see how much whiter it goes the second time. As I said, I am just doing this really quickly just to show you. So it's not going to be perfect. But there you can see white hair. And then if you click the little button in the right hand corner, blonde hair, white hair, blonde hair, white hair, blonde hair, white hair, clever huh? So if you want to make it even more like a slight grey tone, this is what I do to mine. So I would just go ahead and save that. And then I would open Insta Size, this one at the top here. And I would open that photo again. How many selfies? I would go to the um, filter Tokyo. You can see, like, it gives it more like a bluey color gray. So I'd click on that. I'll just reduce it down to maybe like 20. As you can see, it's just giving it more of a slightly like blue tone, which I think looks pretty cool. And there you go. That's how easy it is to do. So I will just show you one more time with one of my photos so you can get the idea of what it would look like if you have darker roots like me. So back into Facetune, um, I just took these selfies here. Mm, I think this one's maybe most similar. It's not that similar, but it's the most similar. So whiten, and then we're just gonna whiten the hair. You can go into the dark bit, but as you can see, it doesn't really do much but it still makes it look ombre grey, which is pretty cool. I used to have my hair like this, um, but it's really hard to maintain, so this is much easier. And you can see it from way over my hands. Let's just erase that. And face. Wow, I need to face tune this. And then I'll probably just go in, this isn't actually the best picture to do because the blend here is not great anyway but what you can do if you're not happy with your blend there so that's it obviously white like you can see blonde white 
And what you can do is you can go to this one here, which is tones, and then go to picker, zoom in, and pick a white, a grey bit. Let's go for this. Let's go for this. And then go back to tones, and then you can just do gentle, like brush strokes, to kind of bring that grey up a tiny bit. As you can see in some bits, like that's obviously way too much there, so just go in and erase that little bit that I did too much. You can see like that looks, it like blends up just a tiny bit further. I'll then maybe go to like one of the darker greys and just brush over. Let's do a little bit over here. So like that, so. And then you've got this hair, or this hair. <laughs> Um, I would then go in, I'll just show you what I would do to this picture anyway, like you can see like you can just see some lines here so I would just go to smooth and just smooth those bits out a tiny bit, not too much because I kind of like to just like tap more than like smooth too much because otherwise it looks like really fake. So just like that, so that's now and that was before, you can see it's just like a little bit better in that area. Okay. And then let me just save that. Sorry, Peony's being really noisy. And then, as I said, I then go into my Insta size and I would open this picture here. I would make it square so I would zoom in, like so. There, do you think? Yeah. Um, oh, didn't mean to press that. And then go to that same filter, which was Tokyo. And obviously not going to be like that because that looks a bit ridiculous. So I'll just reduce it down to um, maybe 15. And then sometimes I also like to bring the lux. I don't even know what lux is. But if you bring it this way, it like fades in. If you bring it this way, it makes it more dense, like more contrasty kind of. So I sometimes just bring that up a couple, maybe to four. So you can see it gives it more of like that bluey tone. Maybe a bit too much on that. Bit too much on the filter. Let's just turn that down a bit. Down to 12. Yeah. And then that would be how I would do that. So then I would just save that photo. Okay. That's how you do it. Ta -da. A few of you have asked for an updated Instagram, like how I edit my Instagram photos. Um, this is my Instagram now. And a lot of you have asked for it, so if you want me to do like an updated video on how I edit all my pictures, then leave me a comment down below. I did do one, but it was like quite a while ago. Um, a lot of you asked like how I get my background so white, which obviously I just showed you. But if you just want to know how I edit them in general and what filters I use, etc., then leave me a comment down below. And that is everything for this video. So I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.